Hello YouTube, this is Arjun and today I have MIA1 64GB black model. On the both sides of the box we get phone name with Android 1 logo and on the front we get phone photo with MI logo and it has dual camera with Snapdragon 625 processor and a 5.5 inch full HD display. Let's see what we get inside the box. This time we get different packaging from Xiaomi. First we get phone itself. For now I'm gonna put this phone on the side and let's see what else we get inside the box. Now we get this rectangular box and on the upside we get our sim ejector tool. First we get power adapter inside this box. It is a 5 watt adapter to charge our phone. Now we get warranty info and user manual. This phone has hybrid SIM slot which means you can use either two SIM cards or one SIM card and one micro SD card to expand your storage up to 128 GB. Now we get USB-C to a cable to charge or transfer data between your phone. This phone has a new USB-C port which means you can plug in either direction. So that's all we get inside the box. Now let's take a look at the phone. This phone has an aluminum back with fingerprint sensor mounted on the back and we get two 12 megapixel cameras with dual tone flash. And it is quite looks like a iPhone 7 Plus from the back side. The only difference is the position of the flash and the fingerprint sensor. This phone has Android 1 which is almost stock Android. Now on the bottom of the phone we get headphone jack, USB-C port, mic and speaker grills. On the right side of the phone we get a volume up down button and a power button. On the upside we get a noise cancellation mic and an infrared sensor. On the front we get 5.5 inch full HD display with Corning Gorilla Glass 3 and on the top we get a 5 megapixel front camera and a speaker for phone calls. I have done all the initial setup process. Now let's test some camera features. As this phone has a dual camera setup, we can take photos in portrait mode with blurred background. Let's first test optical zoom. So as you guys just see when I pressed this 1x on screen button. We get a 2x optical zoom. We also get a digital zoom up to 10x but it will reduce the image quality as it is a software zoom not hardware zoom. Now, 
image quality of both cameras are good and these are the actual 1x and 2x photos from this camera now let's test the portrait mode you can select portrait mode by clicking on this face button on the top after selecting the portrait mode place your object within 2 meters range and press the shutter button when you see depth effect label at the bottom of the camera app These are the actual portrait mode photos from this camera. You can also record videos in 4K at 30 frames per second. For enabling 4K video recording, click on options and then go to camera settings and select 4K from different available options in video quality. By default, it is full HD. This is a 4K footage recorded on this phone. The focus capability of this camera is also good as you see in this footage the background behind the flower got blurred as soon as we get the flower into the frame. Now let's see what we have inside this phone. We get 4 GB RAM out of which 3.5 GB is available for use and we get an internal storage of 64 GB out of which 58.24 GB is available for use. We get Android version 7.1.2 which is no good and as it is an Android 1 device you will get Android updates for at least 2 years. And the newer version 8 which is Oreo will be available in this December. Now let's test the fingerprint sensor. As you guys just see, fingerprint sensor is also lightning fast. We also get Google Assistant in this phone which you can use to get work done hands free by just saying ok Google or by long pressing home button. Hello. Hi, how can I help? Now let's see how this phone performs in Geekbench scores. This phone has a latest Wi-Fi 802.11 SE with a speed of up to 50 megabytes per second. To achieve this speed, you also need a high speed Wi Fi connection. This phone has the same Snapdragon 6 to 5 processor as Redmi Note 4 but it got better scores than Redmi Note 4 because it has stock Android which is more efficient than MIUI. This phone has a great battery life and it has a non-removable 3080mAh lithium ion battery. So this is it guys if you like this video please give thumbs up and want more videos like this then please do subscribe my channel by clicking on the red button and also press the bell icon to get regular updates until then that's been it talk to you guys in the next one thanks for watching and stay tuned for full specifications of this phone hold me close till i get up time is barely on our side i don't wanna waste what's left the storm